on tonight's all new Celebrity Corner. If you don't have an A-list budget to travel like a star, we're sharing apps to make vacationing a little easier. Plus, hot Hollywood headlines, and we're playing Guess That Star, all next. Entertainment editor, Dorothy Cassisari. Here to discuss that and more is Dorothy Cassisari. Pay attention to every word Dorothy says. Hey, I'm Wayne Brady, and I'm here with the beautiful Dorothy Cassisari here on Celebrity Corner. Hi, I'm Dorothy Cassisari, and welcome to tonight's Celebrity Corner. Let's get right into it and start with hot Hollywood headlines. So Kate Upton, okay, she's one of the most beautiful supermodels. She's only 21, by the way. Did you guys know that? How hot is she? Look at that body. Okay, does, does anybody see anything wrong with that body? Because I certainly do not at all. Okay, well, guess what? She says at least twice a day, she wishes that she had smaller boobs. I mean, don't we always wish we could have what we don't have and what we do have? We don't want that either, right? Is that just part of being a woman? I mean, I don't understand. You know, she's a 34D and she says that she would love to just wear spaghetti strap shirts without any bra and that kind of thing. Listen, Kate, I mean, I get it, but nobody wants to hear you complaining. We're jealous of you. <laughs> and in other celebrity body issues, did anybody see this Instagram photo that Beyonce posted? Okay, yes, that's Beyonce. Look at that thigh gap. Look at that huge thigh gap, okay? Instagram users were outraged. They are accusing her of photoshopping her own Instagram photo. Does it kind of look like it was photoshopped? Yeah, it does, right? I mean, I, I know that they make an app for everything, but I wouldn't even know how to begin to use an app to Photoshop my photos before I Instagram them. But, but I have to find out what app that is because I think I really need it, right? There's nothing wrong with a little Photoshopping. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Uh, and, and another photo that I want to share with you in Hot Hollywood Headlines is this picture of Cher. Look at her. I mean, should we give her a round of applause? Okay, okay, the audience is mixed, and I appreciate that. I appreciate that because, you know, I think the, uh, the heart-shaped the heart -shaped pasties might be a little bit too much, uh, the, the, the thighs. And, you know, it's interesting because one of our staff members made a good point saying that a couple weeks ago I said that Chris. Chris Jenner should pose for Playboy, so a woman of her age should pose for Playboy, but now I'm saying that a woman that shares age, I think she's 67, shouldn't be dressed like that. So, I, you know, they were saying maybe that's hypocritical, but me personally, I just think Cher, like her talent is everything. She doesn't need to dress like that. I'm not saying that she shouldn't because she can't. I'm saying that she shouldn't because she doesn't need to. She's an icon, right? When it comes to music, her voice is everything. She doesn't need these silly Lady Gaga, Nicki Minaj outfits, in my opinion. Anyway, before we go to break, I want to invite our viewers to check out my new column on millionaire matchmaker Patty Stanger's website, pattyknows.com, where I break down the biggest Hollywood stories with some dating and relationship advice sprinkled in. The name of my column, Celebrity Corner, of course. Coming up, we're playing Guess That Celebrity. Do not go away. Hi, I'm Patty Stanger, Brothers Millionaire Matchmaker, and you're watching Dorothy in Celebrity Corner. Welcome back to Celebrity Corner. I'm Dorothy Cassisari. So who's ready to play a game? Get ready for Guess That Star. Tonight we are joined by my dear friend Alyssa Gave, whose book Two Good Round Superstars features interviews with some of the biggest names in TV and sports. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Yeah. We're here. We are also joined by two brave audience members tonight, Ashley from Doylestown, Pennsylvania, and Rose from Horsham, Pennsylvania. Yeah. Welcome, ladies. Thank you. Look at all these gorgeous ladies up here. I love it. So you uh, wrote this book, it's your second one. You interviewed a lot of famous men in this book. I did, 54 of you, the world's greatest athletes. You have a hard job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fun, it can be very fun. Exactly, now one of the questions that you asked all the guys is, you know, what's their drink of choice on the 19th hole? My dad golfs, my husband golfs, I don't know anything about golf, so I asked what is the 19th hole and what is it? 
The 19, well, every golf course has 18 holes, and the 19th hole is always referred to as the bar. So that's, that's where, where you would find snoring. me if I was on the golf course. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I'll meet you at the 19th hole. And it's where the best stories are. Where the best stories are. So you interviewed four really famous men in sports and television, really, uh, and you asked them what their drink of choice is. So you interviewed uh, Olympic swimmer Michael Phelps. Yes. Sexy. Uh, you interviewed uh, you interviewed Michael Strahan, who hosts Live with Kelly and Michael. He's doing an amazing. He's job. doing an incredible job. I want to talk to you about that. Uh, you also interviewed Andy Roddick, who's married to Brooklyn Decker. He's a famous tennis player. And the last one you interviewed is Bruce Jenner, yeah. who, who we all know from Keeping Up with the Kardashians, right? Exactly. Is he the patriarch of that family? Can we call him that? I think so. That might be a stretch. I do. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so here's what we're going to do. I am going to give the drink, and our ladies here, our audience members, are going to guess. You're going to ring your bell and guess uh, who chose this particular drink, okay? And I have to say, they do kind of go along with their personalities, yes. the drink with, and the men. Okay, so um, whoever rings the bell first, I will call on you. And if you get it wrong, the other person will have a chance to answer. If you get it right, you'll get a point. And whoever gets the most amount of points wins not only a copy of Alyssa's book, Two Good Around Superstars, but also a photo of Bradley Cooper, similar to the one that we have here on the set of Celebrity Corner, which everybody loves week in and week out, except for my husband. Okay, so the first drink... Who requests, on the 19th hole, a cold beer? I think Ashley was first. Um, Michael Strahan. Wrong. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> brave, you're brave to answer first, but you were wrong. Do you want to give us a guess, Rose? I'm going to go with Michael Phelps. And the answer is? Michael Phelps. Michael Woo! Phelps! All right, all right. One, one point, one point for Ashley. And what, what was Michael Phelps like? I, before, before you answer that question, I have to say, I, I don't want this to come off the wrong way, but I spent a night with Michael Phelps in a hotel room in New York City, not by myself. It was a party that I was invited to, and he was there. And I have to say that I had the privilege of, of hugging that big, hard, rock hard, sexy body of his. I know. <laughs> It's, it's something I'm proud of. Yes, and, as it should be. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't hug him. <laughs> he's a great guy. He really is. You know, and right now he was, he's so in demand after, you know, he had won and now he stopped and he's hot on golf. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's, I like him a lot. I've run into him at the Soho House. Too. Oh, you have? Yeah. He's always, like, he's always out and about in New York. Okay. Next drink. Who goes for the Arnold Palmer with a splash of vodka, which is otherwise known as a John Daly? Ladies? Oh. Rose? I'm going to go with Bruce Jenner. Wrong. Really? <laughs> you think you needed to deal with all those women. You, are, you, need to, you need it for all those women to deal with. <laughs> that is true. He doesn't need a strong day. Okay, Ashley, do you want to give it a shot? Um, Andy Roddick. You're both wrong. The oh, correct no. answer is? Michael Strahan. Michael Strahan. He goes for that drink. Now, did you interview him before or after he started hosting uh, Live with Kelly and I, it was, I think it was right before. Right before. Yeah, or he just started. And, and do you and think... he didn't have, like, the popularity. I mean, he just has really caught fire. I was skeptical when they said he would be, you know, her new co-host on the show. But I've been watching, and I think he does a really great job. He's relatable. He's kind of yeah. he's funny. He, and I, I did know that from doing the interview and from having been around him a couple times. And his personality is just so vivacious that you're like, oh, my gosh. He's, I think he does. Like you said, he relates to everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, I think he was a good choice. Yeah. Okay, next drink. This is an interesting one. All right, who asks at the bar for Gatorade and popcorn? <laughs> Ashley. Andy Roddick. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to give a guess, Rose? I guess it's Bruce Jenner, right? It's Bruce, Bruce Jenner! Jenner. Yes. <laughs> he's, he's pretty quirky, so I wasn't too surprised by that. And you have an interesting story about Bruce. I do have a very interesting story about Bruce. He um, actually won a car, which is a very difficult thing to do in a charity outing. And he had told me this story. When oh, we were doing... oh, like he needs to win a car? I mean, <laughs> really? Exactly. <laughs> I mean. But you know, it is for all golfers. It's a big time. You know, usually you have to get a hole in one or there's some type of contest and it's, it's very difficult. They make it difficult because right. you can't be given a car's way. 
So he told me this story when we were doing the interview and he said that he was so excited, he called Chris. And when he called her, he said, I'm fulfilling one of my all time fantasies. She said, what are you talking about? What, Bruce, what are you talking about? I, I couldn't make a joke right now, but I'm just gonna leave <laughs> it at that, continue, keep and going. So he said, I'm fulfilling my, one of my all time fantasies right now and calling by calling you and telling you I won a car in a golf tournament because you're always complaining that I play in these golf tournaments. And so finally he and won something. He, finally, he, yeah, he, but he won big. He won a Mercedes. Oh. And she said, he said there was a pause and she didn't say, wow, that's great, or congratulations. She said, what kind of car? <laughs> <laughs> so he said a Mercedes, uh, it was a Mercedes 350. And she said, well, I'd really like a Mercedes S550. Oh my god. So he said his free car cost him an additional 50 grand. To upgrade. To upgrade. So to what she to wanted. Ride. Why does that not surprise me? Wow. <laughs> I, I mean, I want to know what that conversation sounded like if, if when she asked what kind of car, he said a Honda. Like, right. what, <laughs> what would have happened then? They would have been, they would have been split up a lot sooner. But he said he put a I love golf a sticker on the dashboard of the car. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Okay, last one. And this is process of elimination, but maybe you girls don't have good memories. I don't know. Who asked for the Bloody Mary? <laughs> Ashley? Andy Roddick. Andy Roddick! Yeah. Very good! <laughs> so, so our final score is Ashley 1 and Rose 2, right? Did I keep track of this correctly? Yes, yes. okay. Yes. <laughs> so Rose is our winner. Thank you girls so much for playing our very Thank first you. Celebrity Corner Game Show, Guess That Star. You did a really fabulous job, didn't they? Yes, great, good idea. And there are quite a few other uh, guys in your book that you've interviewed too, some pretty yep, famous 54. ones. Yep, 54, there's two women too. Oh, uh, I didn't know that. Yeah. The women uh, represent? Brandy Chastain, the soccer player. Okay. And uh, Bonnie Blair, the speed, uh, speed skater. Wow. So yeah, That's not great. a ton of women. Not a ton of women. We're trying to get more of a man. We're right. bringing them in. Right, <laughs> of course. Well, you're like the, the, the female representative in the golf community, uh, which I really like. I love like, you know, the back of your book, you, you're all sexy in a golf cart with a with a red dress on. I mean, that's the way to golf, right? That's how you golf. Well, anyway, uh, I also want to tell you that everyone in our studio audience is going home with uh, Two Good Round Superstars. So you can read this at home. Thank you so much for, to Alyssa for joining us and to our fabulous studio audience members. Good job tonight, girls. Thank you. Coming up, traveling can be stressful if you don't have a private plane like Mariah Carey and Nick Cannon but a few new apps and websites can make your next trip hassle-free. And how great would that be? Stay tuned. Nick Cannon is definitely a romantic guy. When they renewed their vows in 2012, they did it on top of the Eiffel Tower. I mean, talk about the most romantic place in the world. Nick and Mariah traveled to France via private jet for at least $100,000. Welcome back to Celebrity Corner. That was a clip from The Fabulous Life of Mariah Carey and Nick Cannon, a special that I was a part of that aired recently on VH1. When it comes to travel, stars have it easy. They fly private and have an entourage to take care of everything once they land. But for most of us, traveling can be full of headaches until now. Please welcome lifestyle expert Valerie Greenberg here tonight to share three apps that take the stress out of jet setting. Welcome. Hi, Dorothy. I'm so glad that you're here. Oh my gosh, your show is so fun. Thank I'm you. thrilled to be oh, here. Thank you. So you have so you have quite a few really great ideas for apps that we can use. I always want to know how technology can you know help me in my everyday life, and especially with traveling because right. it can be really stressful. Um, so let's start with the first one, Tempo. Tell, oh me, tell us about this. I'm so glad we're starting with Tempo because Tempo is like your personal personal assistant, but not a real person. I right. mean, it's everybody's dream. And basically, it links to your email address and everything is streamlined. So say you and I are communicating, we haven't seen each other in a month, and we're going to dine in an area that we're not really used to because we're taking a vacation there. Well, Tempo will provide us the address to the destination where we're going. It'll even go as far as suggesting parking spots, and it'll include all of your information as well as the contact information. Oh, wow. Restaurant. That's fabulous. I know. So, so you don't have to go through and, and Google each individual Ex thing. Exactly. It's because that's the problem with traveling a lot. You know, if you don't have a personal right. assistant, I mean, who does? Um, aside from the celebrities, exactly, of course. Exactly, that's exactly. And if you don't have a personal assistant, you have to do so much research. You have to know how you're going to get places. You need to know what the address is, things like that. So you just plug everything in, and it just shows you everything. And everything is in one spot. It's all streamlined for you, and that's the beauty of Tempo. It's like artificial intelligence, something that goes beyond my idea that I understand. <laughs>
understand, <laughs> but it works because I'm able to use it. And if I can use it, anybody, anybody can. can use it. Yeah, well, that's it's what very I like. user friendly. It has very to be user friendly. It has to be an app that I that I know how to use and that is user friendly. Because if there's a million things you have to figure out, chances are I'm just gonna end up you know, holding it down, it wiggles and you delete it. It helps you stay organized, baby. And the, and the Celebrity Corner audience deserves to know how to stay organized when okay. traveling. Because traveling can be stressful. It can be really yeah. stressful. And we want to alleviate these stressors I for everybody. I love that. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about another app called Rebtel. Yes. Okay, so who has ever gone on vacation before and you get back and your cell phone bill is like jaw dropping. Off I mean, the charts, right? Yeah, off the charts. Like that, that, that happens. I appreciate you clapping because you're agreeing, but I mean, that is never, <laughs> that is never something Not to, something right, we want to celebrate. Right, 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 no. But, um, but Rebtel can prevent that, right? Exactly. So Rebtel is an app that you can download to any form of your smartphone. But what's so wonderful, they want to keep you connected to those that matter most. So say I download Rebtel to my Android and you have Rebtel and on your Apple phone and I'm in China and you're in the States, we can talk for I'm free. I'm on an island. I should be on an island. Yes, that's where you'll be. States, yeah. We can talk, okay. <laughs> She's in Aruba or wherever she might be going, you know, Miss Fabulous over here. But no, I mean, you can communicate. So you have to call your mother. It's free if you both have the Rebtel app. Now, if she doesn't want to download the app because she's not, you know, tech, tech savvy, savvy, but you know what, it's very easy. It's still that much cheaper, and you can find all the rates listed based on what country you're in on their website, Rebtel.com. That sounds like a it's really, really good tool yeah. to stay in touch with people because the problem often lies in the the roaming charges yes. that you you just don't know. I mean, exactly. Or racking or up the roaming charges, racking, racking up the roaming charges, or getting to your destination and your phone not working. I know when I went to go visit my sister in Italy, yeah, I I went to my you cell phone dealer. You travel a lot, girl. I, I try, you know. I like it. I I went to my cell phone dealer. I you know told them like this phone has to work when I arrived, I was going to the train station, I had to meet my sister. Right. And when I got there, I sp spent an hour on the phone with them at the airport. You not communicate. A right, so, so something like that that makes that easy and takes the stress out of it, I am all for. So Rebtel.com. Rebtel.com, okay, I like that a lot. Okay, and now what about blue ribbon bags? Yes. This is, okay, some people have a fear of sharks when they're traveling, <laughs> I, I have that fear too. Uh, some people have a fear of getting sick because they eat something bad on vacation. Right. and we're going to go there too. Uh, but a lot of people have a fear of a lost bag. Like showing right. up in a destination and not having my shoes and, you know, like clean underwear Heaven forbid, is, is a nightmare. Heaven, Heaven forbid. Okay. Heaven forbid. Yeah, Cancel the we trip. We really rough here. Okay. <laughs> no, well, Blue Ribbon Bags is a service that protects us from these worries. And because all you have to do is go to blueribbonbags.com, you pay $5. I'm not kidding. $5. And if you lose your luggage, they will 100% give you a $1,000 check on the fifth day, even if you get your bags on that fifth day. So oftentimes we find ourselves scrambling, scrambling for receipts and we're so worried because we can't find them. And you do all of that and this will make you get the most money with a lot, a little effort. Right, well, $5, I exactly. mean, you, $5 and you is like my any, Starbucks. And you don't have it's to, like my, my know, coffee, you Unfortunately, know? people are like wiping themselves now with $5 bills. <laughs> I wish I was <laughs> one of them. No, but I mean, that's to put it honestly, but that's the beauty of blue ribbon bags. And you know, we get to the airline and they're like, oh, the bag, the bins on top are full, miss, you must check your bag. And I'm like, no, no, you're gonna lose it. But guess what, you can do it right before you get on the plane. So oh, so you can do it right, right before? Right before, because sometimes we're faced with these situations and So you don't have to out. be like, like that uh, that movie Ben Stiller with the bag and yelling at the at the exactly <laughs> what, yeah yeah when he was like meet, yeah, meet an actuary or, yeah. yeah one of those well anyway um, I love that as an idea mm -hmm. because getting a bag back from an airline is never it's an easy task like I know I lost a bag once and they wanted me to come out to Newark Airport to get the bag right, and in New York City it. you don't have a car so it's not you just hop in your car and drive to the airport so I I think that's so great and yeah. by the way our studio audience members can all try blue ribbon bags for free complimentary one trial so you can try it out. And uh, and let us know how you like it, Valerie Greenberg. Thank you so oh, it's much. My I mean, pleasure. you I, all these great apps are so great, and we're gonna put uh, more information about them uh, on social media so That's people wonderful. can learn more. And uh, anything that helps me travel, I'm I'm all about. Well, thank you for That's coming right. tonight. It's my pleasure. Thank you for having me, Dorothy. <laughs> Up next, we have product giveaways that will help you be your fab self. The fab you list is next. The fabulous. I like that. Welcome back to Celebrity Corner. I'm Dorothy Cassisari. So how many of you are absolutely loving this gorgeous spring weather? Isn't it just beautiful? Well, our studio audience is in luck because we're giving away some really fabulous things today on Celebrity Corner, and we like to call them the Fab You List.
so when this awesome weather, you know, gets going, I think to myself, all right, I'm gonna be wearing less and less clothes as we get closer to summer. So I start, you know, uh, coming out of hibernation, I'm not ordering pad thai every single night on my couch, and reaching for more healthy things. So the first thing our studio audience are going home with is Maya yogurt. <laughs> Maya is a new Greek yogurt that the founder created on his NYC apartment stove to address his pregnant cousin's health concerns. It's less sweet than most Greek yogurts made with all natural, non-GMO ingredients, including grass-fed cow's milk, real fruit, and just a dash of real cane sugar. Maya is smooth, creamy, and delicious, and packed with protein, fiber, and it's also gluten-free and kosher. So I hope everybody enjoys their Maya. I know I'm enjoying mine and pineapple flavor. It makes me feel like I'm in the islands. Uh, okay, secondly, when the nice weather comes, I cannot wait to just open all my windows, right? Like the entire winter, you're cooped up at home. And what I really like to use inside is the Vibe Room Energy Spray. And this is from Psychic Linda Lauren, who was on the show just a few weeks ago and was incredible. This spray removes negativity from the environment around you and creates a more positive atmosphere and it comes in a convenient travel size that's perfect for your office, car, or even vacation. It can help improve your mood and increase your energy and everyone's going home with one. It's exciting. And last but not least, okay, winter skin, go away, okay? My face has been in such bad shape all winter, so the aloe source is actually a great line that incorporates organically grown, stabilized aloe vera into all of the 21 products they offer for all skin types, and everyone in our audience is going home with a luminosity mask, which is a great product to use for gentle exfoliation. It's a soothing gel mask that combines pineapple and papaya enzymes to gently exfoliate the skin, while aloe vera and willow herb extract soothe the skin, leaving it smooth, radiant, and youthful looking. It's easy to apply and remove, smells fresh and clean, and leaves skin feeling rejuvenated. And I always love beauty products with aloe in them because it reminds me of my grandmother who passed away. She always had an aloe plant in her house and I would always open the aloe plant and use it for different things. So I'm all about the aloe. Anyway, lots of fun prizes. If you would like to have the chance to win free gifts as a studio audience member, email celebritycorneraudience at gmail.com and come on down to see the show live in person. Thank you so much to Zoom Interiors for my beautiful set and be sure to check out the website haveyouheard.net for the latest celebrity news and gossip. Plus you can watch Celebrity Corner on the site too. See you next Thursday night, 7.30 in Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and Delaware, here on WMCN, and also online at DorothyOnTV.com. Remember to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, both at DorothyOnTV. See you next week.